Chris, what is our first main topic today? Our first topic is so cute and I love it. Eric Fimmel writes in, greetings and salutations, John, Rob, Ray, and Chris. Tomorrow, today, Tuesday, is the 90th birthday of the greatest of all time, John Williams. It's crazy because even if you take away his iconic work on Star Wars, without it, he'd still be the greatest of all time by miles. What to you are the best contributions Williams has made to movie music? Thanks. All right. And you know what? It's really interesting what you said there, Eric, because every once in a while, you know, we'll t I'll talk a lot about Tom Brady, but they're like, I remember ESPN did this thing as Tom Brady would make it into the Hall of Fame twice. If you took the first half of his career, that's a Hall of Fame career. If you took the second half of his career, it's still a Hall of Fame career. Some people even argue that he could make the Hall of Fame three times if he took three <laughs> different eras of his of his career. John Williams, when you think of John Williams, on obviously, for most people, the first thing that comes to mind is the iconic music for Star Wars. The Imperial March, the main Star Wars fanfare theme, the Leia's music, all that kind of stuff. Duel of the frickin' Fates, the best thing to come out of the prequels. But if you take Star Wars away... He's still the greatest of all time, not even by a little, by a lot. You take, you take out the most iconic of his work. He is still the greatest to ever do it by miles. And that is a crazy, crazy accomplishment. Because when you think of every, we, we talked about this a lot. John Williams with this, I lost count. I can't remember how many Academy Award nominations does he have? It's in the... 20s or 30s i think maybe 19 i can't remember how many he's got five academy awards all that kind of stuff and when you think of movie music that you hum or whistle or think about nine times out of ten is a john williams score well how about just one director let's take star wars out of it if you just had one director and take the movies that he scored for steven spielberg it's a it's a hall of fame career already he has jaws Oscars. raiders schindler's list jurassic park they say how many 52 noms. 52, sorry. I'm not, I was thinking of Meryl Streep nominations, I think. Yeah. 50. Sorry, Rob, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just no, not mind. at all. But I mean, just Spielberg alone, if he only scored Steven Spielberg movies. He would be in the Hall mm -hmm. of Fame. Yeah. But you think about, you know, I just watched uh, recently with Anne that, that anniversary Return to Hogwarts thing. Yeah. John Williams. Mm -hmm. Jurassic World's coming out. Na, 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 na. Indiana Jones, dun 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 dun, dun. Superman, bum, oh, bum, bum, yeah. bum, bum. arguably it's one of the him. great movie scores. That that score rivals his score for Star Wars, the Superman the movie. It's score it's does. great. Beautiful. Actually, you know, we go to the John Williams concert every year at the Hollywood Bowl. Every year he'll play three or four pieces from Star Wars, and everybody goes nuts. But only about every two or three years does he do the Superman theme. Only like every two. I, but what if not the Imperial March? then the biggest pop that he gets is whenever that lone horn, bum, 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 then the audience goes crazy. Oh, it goes crazy. Well, I mean, there's other scores. When I started listening to, to film scores, his score for Jaws 2 is amazing. Um, again, completely all-time iconic music. Uh, uh, John, for Brian De Palma's The Fury, one of my favorite horror scores, his score for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Dun, 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 dun. Five notes. But the whole opening, that whole, it's incredible. His score for Dracula, you know, his score for Spielberg's 1941 is an incredible score. He has been nominated for Academy Awards, I believe, in four different decades, which is ridiculous, but he's not an honorary nominee. You go down onto his IMDb and you go down through the list and it's like iconic memorable score after iconic memorable score after iconic memorable score. It's him. And here's the crazy thing. <clears throat> we keep expecting, like Ann and I make sure every year to we absolutely have to go to the John Williams concert because every year for the last six years, we thought this could be his last. Not because we think he's going to die, but he's got to retire at some point. But he is still rolling and going. This comes from the folks over at Variety who write this. John Williams turns 90 years old today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Happy birthday to John Williams. And the world's most famous film composer shows no signs of slowing down. The five-time Oscar winner, creator of many of the most well-known movie themes of all time, everything from Jaws to Star Wars to E.T. Forgot we didn't even mention E.T. Yeah. Harry Potter is finishing work on two new film scores right now. 
COVID permitting, and he plans to conduct concerts at at least five orchestras between April and November, and he's got a new album coming out. This is a 90-year-old man. Uh, it's unbelievable. Dude, I, I'm i uh, not 50, and I don't want to go to the store because my knee hurts. Like, this guy is <laughs> this guy's 90. This guy's 90 years old, and he is still super active and being the best in the world at it, which is freaking him so can we just uh, happy birthday happy birthday happy to birthday, John 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 birthday. Birthday. All time. the all-time I... goat by miles uh anyway rob you look I... back on the career now he turns 90 what stands out to you most when you think about john williams well first of all i was i'm trying to call this up there's so much to look at i'm like i can't even get to this while we're live i just think about when i started listening to film scores when i it was because of star wars but there were two guys, Jerry Goldsmith and, and John Williams, but that I was listening to. But if you think about his output just from 1975 to 1979, four years, you're looking at Jaws, and this is not all of them, Jaws, Star Wars, Superman, like I said, The Fury, Spielberg's 1941, John Badham's Dracula. That's in four years. And all of those scores are incredibly iconic. Then you go the next two years, you've got Empire Strikes Back and Raiders. I mean, if you look at it, and by the way, the law, the original TV theme dun, 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 for Lost in Space, right? Johnny Williams, back but when he was Johnny Williams, he did that too. When he was just a young scamp writing I mean, music. It, it, if you look at, yeah, and the stuff he did, go back to the 60s. I mean, the guy's, the guy's career is unbelievable. Chris, you're looking at this. You see that he's 90 years old right now. What do you think about when you think about John Williams and what if his score stands out to you and what does it mean to you? Oh my gosh, I love his music so much. Jurassic Park is honestly the first thing I think about because that was such an important film to me Because you're a young. Because I'm young. You're not old like me. <laughs> Just just old in mind and spirit, Rob. That's all I got going on. Just cynical old otherwise. Goal. Uh, that's a nicer way to put it. But Jurassic Park is probably the one. All the Harry Potter movies were obviously really, really big for me too. And then in recent memory, the Tintin score. Tintin, a oh, very the Tintin underrated, score was great. Underrated movie, underrated music. It's a great, great film. And it just makes it so fun listening to his music. You want to go on that adventure with Tintin. You want to go chase after Snowy. He's amazing. He's incredible. Happy birthday, sir. And again, when you think about, when you go back and you think about the magic of the movies and the things the music of it permeates and it, it just sticks with you. How about something that's being played every single day right now? The NBC Olympics theme. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah. He yeah. actually, yeah. at his last concert, he broke that out and they played this big montage of great Olympic moments over the years and they yeah. played his Olympic theme and all. Even when one of the great moments, actually, one of Williams' concerts, this is a couple of years ago, he brought Kobe Bryant out on stage this was about a year before he died and he had done that deer basketball the short film that won him an academy award yeah and john williams composed the music to it and john williams brought out kobe bryant i was at that i was at that show i was at that, were concert. You at that john yeah. williams? You were yes there i too. was so he comes out and they play the short film while kobe narrates it personally and Williams conducts the orchestra. And it was one of the cool, without my favorite coolest moment ever. Besides Julie Andrews coming out and all that, they, they always have big guests. But my favorite move, moment ever at a John Williams concert was when they the surprise guest was Steven Spielberg. And I freaked out and thought I was going to piss myself. <laughs> and Steven Spielberg comes out and he talks about how you guys want to know, like, just how great John Williams is. He goes, I brought with me the opening seven minutes or whatever it is of Indiana Jones and the last crusade when young Indiana Jones gets the hat and the whip and you know, it's, it's young river Phoenix. We're going to play that entire seven minutes now without John Williams score. Let's go. <laughs> and they play the entire opening seven minutes and it just doesn't even feel like it has any life to it. Mm -hmm. Even as he's, you know, jumping in between the train cars and all that kind of stuff. It just feels weird. And then he goes, okay, now let's do it again after that full seven minutes. But this time we're going to have Johnny play along with it. And then they played it again. And like, it just, it brings all the magic to it. And all like, it reminds yeah. me of there's a YouTube video out there of the medal award ceremony at the end of the original star Wars without John Williams music. And it's just this empty hall. And you see a guy 
Oh yeah. Pop in the background as Luke and and uh, Chewy, who doesn't I think get that's a medal. Oral nuts medal. made that video. It's, that was them. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That was awesome. But again, the magic of John Williams. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about when you think of the GOAT? John Williams, happy birthday, turning 90, still going strong. What's your favorite music score of his? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.